Black Panther Wakanda Forever opens tonight in theaters, well technically yesterday. So let's break down the reactions, what to expect, and box office predictions. No woman, no cry. I gotta say, Wakanda Forever is the most excited I have been for an MCU project in quite some time. Some of their latest releases, whether theatrical or Disney+, Plus, haven't quite done it for me, which I have an upcoming video on this channel regarding my feelings on the current state of the MCU, so stay tuned for that. However, the first trailer for Black Panther Wakanda Forever blew me away. No woman, no cry. Other than a few quick shots in the trailer, it just felt so different than your typical MCU entry. Thames in the background vocals as it beautifully collides with Kendrick's All Right as the action begins to pick up. The cinematography, costume design, the whole aesthetic just appeared as much more of a director focused film as opposed to some of the corporate green screen filler I would describe some of the previous projects as. So safe to say I'm stoked for this film. Unfortunately I live in a remote location with no theaters nearby so I can't check it out with all you guys this weekend. In the meantime, let's go over what to expect from the latest MCU entry. Reactions to the film have been extremely positive, boasting a score of 85% on the tomato meter, and The Hollywood Reporter's Brian Davids hailed the film as Marvel's most poignant and powerful film to date, praising all the elements from the performances to the crafts. The rap's Drew Taylor said that the film prioritizes sentiment over spectacle, and praised Ludwig Göransson's score as an all-timer. Some more initial reactions coming out of the film's premiere include praises such as Clayton Davis saying, Black Panther Wakanda Forever is a beautiful tribute to Chadwick Boseman. Visual stunner with Angela Bassett commanding every scene she inhabits. Rihanna's Lift Me Up will do that for many. Another great postcard scene that's genuinely a jaw-dropper. This reaction says Wakanda Forever will take you on a roller coaster of emotions. While Chadwick's absence is felt, the cast performance is phenomenal. The journey and mourning each cast goes through is felt through the film. Tons of action. Namor is fantastic. Steven Weintraub says, Another reason I'm so impressed with Black Panther Wakanda Forever is Ryan Coogler had the impossible task of trying to make a sequel without Chadwick Boseman and make it feel respectful, but also keep the franchise going and he hit a home run. Going to be a huge hit for Marvel. This reaction says Wakanda Forever is bigger in scope and scale than Black Panther, but its story is also one of Marvel's most intimate and heartfelt. It's definitely a comic book movie, but it's one that centers grief and the grieving process rather than super heroics and spectacle. And Brian Davids fleshed out his thoughts saying, Black Panther Wakanda Forever is Marvel's most poignant and powerful film to date. It's heavy and dark in the way that it needed to be, and mostly abandons the studio's trademark tone. The craft work levels up in every conceivable way, and the performances rise to the occasion. Guys, the through line here is that the film seems to be epic, emotional, and a beautiful tribute to Chadwick Boseman. The score appears to be top tier and Coogler's direction is definitely felt, potentially even more than the first film. What else really excites me regarding these reactions is the amount of film pundits mentioning that the overall tone and feel of the movie is much different than most Marvel projects, something I've been hoping for for quite some time. However, I've definitely heard this same praise coming out of previous Marvel premieres, which leads me to get my hopes up and then when I check out the film, I think to myself, nope. That's definitely a Marvel toned movie. It is a fine line though. The MCU wants to keep their universe with a similar feeling as all the movies and shows are connected. However, when they're releasing this much content per year, I think more variation in tone would be extremely valuable to the fans. One complaint I've heard through reading reactions and reviews include the runtime definitely feels a bit long at points, as well as some over the top action and CGI that almost feels a bit out of place in a film carried much more by emotion and mature tone than some of the film's predecessors. The critic consensus on Rotten Tomatoes reads, a poignant tribute that satisfyingly moves the franchise forward, Black Panther Wakanda Forever makes an ambitious and emotionally rewarding triumph for the MCU. So what about box office? The original Black Panther opened to over 202 million in February of 2018, however this one is actually trending slightly behind that one in advanced ticket sales, with around 45 million. Those numbers put it behind Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which opened to 187 million back in May, yet slightly ahead of Thor Love and Thunder which opened to 144. I think this film could definitely open close to 200 million, or maybe even exceed the first film's opening with such positive word of mouth. The thing that may hurt this movie's box office returns is its runtime. Coming in at a whopping 2 hours and 41 minutes, Wakanda Forever represents the second longest film in the MCU, with only Avengers Endgame ahead of it at 3 hours and 2 minutes. That length will limit the number of showings each theater can have. So guys, I think it all depends on how many people stay home to watch Spirited on Apple TV+. Alright guys, will you be checking out Black Panther Wakanda Forever during its opening weekend? Have you already seen the film? If so, what did you think of it? What are your box office predictions for the film? And keep it locked right here for my rankings of all the MCU films leading up to Wakanda Forever, dropping this weekend on my channel. As well as my dive into the state of current MCU content, and an in-depth breakdown of what makes the Batman so close to being a masterpiece. All dropping this weekend on my channel. If you guys could drop a like, it would mean the world, and I'll catch you on the next one. I remember when